person who will who uh, you'll kind of see. So I just started it and uh, we'll get going here. Feel free at any point in time, if you have questions, please jot them down because we will have a little bit of a question and an answer period at the end. Um, but Tansi Noak Maganak, Ego on the Totemtik, Kamamak Mackenzie Brown at Sigason, Nimiwi Sigahigane Kochi Nia, Mokinsi Sotoskonek Miguach Ni Weekend. Uh, everybody. Happy July. Uh, for those of you who are tuning in, welcome. Uh, I think majority of you all know who I am. So my name is Mackenzie. Uh, I hail from Sturgeon Lake Cree Nation up in Treaty 8 territory, but I live here in Treaty 7 uh, in Otosquenek or uh, Mokinstis, the Blackfoot Confederacy calls it, Calgary, Alberta. Right now it's the stampede. So I'm seeing a lot of people in uh, cowboy cosplay walking around with their big cowboy hats. And and uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited about this week. We got, uh, there's the stampede powwow that's happening. So if you guys are around uh, and in Southern Calgary, sorry, Southern Alberta, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, I'll be at the powwow. So I might be able to see you. And I'm going to go to some of the other Indigenous markets that we have going around. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, joining me, I have my lovely Deadly Development team. Uh, most of us are here today. So we got Shaylon, we got Curtis, and we got Renee. Uh, so we're all over from Alberta here today. And uh, yeah, excited to chat about a brand new program called the ITA Six Senses Program. So I'm going to take you guys through it. I'm going to share my screen here. And uh, this is really a this is really a uh, information session all on this program. What is the Six Senses program? What is the application? And why we're so excited about this program? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna gonna jump into it and get started. All right. So most of you have been members of ITA for a couple of years now, which is awesome. Um, but if you're brand new to ITA and you don't know who the heck we are, uh, we are an Indigenous run not for profit organization uh, that helps support Indigenous tourism businesses across Alberta. So whether it's like, you know, you have an idea all the way to you want to further enhance your experience, you need help with website development, you need help finding like an insurance company, all of those kind of things. Um, my deadly development team really works to support entrepreneurs that are 51% indigenously owned across Alberta. Uh, we work with a variety of different experience providers because we believe that tourism isn't just one thing, right? You know, we see a lot of uh, if you were to go abroad, you know, what kind of tourism experiences uh, you could take part in. We see tourism a little bit more broad at ITA. Uh, so we do include artisans. We do include, we have a, quite a few like fashion designers who are a part of our membership because that all plays into the visitor economy is what we call it. And it all plays into, you know, uplifting and amplifying Indigenous voice and uh, so that's really like why we do what we do. Um, you, If you're interested in checking out like our vision, our mission statement, or even like our strategy of how we support Indigenous operators in Alberta, feel free to check out our website. But I won't harp on that all too much because this program is something that I'm really excited to, to get in and, and to chat about with you guys. So you may have noticed the name, which is what I want to kind of get into first and foremost. What is the Six Senses program? So the Six Senses program, when you think about that idea or that concept, lots of times people will be like, but we have five senses. But uh, in this program, we're really looking to invigorate all six senses. So, you know, you have sight. You have smell, you have touch, you have taste, you have, what's the other one? Sight, smell, touch, taste, hearing. And then the sixth one is spirituality or connection to spirit. 
Um, and so that's what we believe the sixth sense is and what makes us kind of like superheroes in the tourism industry is that we have the ability to connect visitors and to connect other Canadians to that idea of of spirit, right? That like Noaka Maganak, all of our relations, everything has a spirit, everything has a spirituality. And we have that cultural lens uh, that I think really makes us like the superhumans <laughs> of, uh, of the tourism industry. And so that's really where the name comes from. But what this program is at its core is this is the very first program ever across Canada that takes individuals through having an idea or an already created experience to enhancing and creating a purchasable experience through Indigenous ways of knowing, doing, and being. So prior to this program being created, Travel Alberta used to have a program that was called SHIFT. It was, it was kind of similar in the sense that it took, you know, people from the tourism industry and Okay, do you have an idea? Do you have an experience? Let's take that and let's like make it a transformative experience, you know, where visitors come, they take part in your experience and they leave and they feel like they are like transformed, that they're a different kind of person. Um, and this program follows a similar overview. However, when we first started looking at developing this program, and this program has been in development now for about three years. So I've been working on it since since I came in at ITA. Um, originally, the idea was, OK, let's take the shift program and let's indigenize it. However, um, I don't love the idea of indigenizing something that wasn't meant that wasn't built from the ground up in indigenous ways of knowing, doing and being. So we ended up just kind of like scrapping that. And uh, we ended up completely starting fresh, starting new, all the way developing a program that at its core is made for Indigenous people, by Indigenous people, utilizing our ways of knowing, doing, and being. And that's how we ended up creating the Sixth Senses program. So as I had mentioned, you know, this program really takes you into how to create a purchasable experience. So what is a purchasable experience? That is an experience that, you know, I often think of, uh, you know, if you were traveling abroad and you go abroad somewhere and somebody is like, oh, hey, we have like you can sign up and you can come and we're, we're doing a walking tour of downtown. That would be considered like a purchasable experience. Um on the flip side here, here, like in Alberta and Canada, you know, we have a lot of members who do, let's say their medicine walks or guided tours. You could even do like for our artisans, we have beading workshops, we have porcupine quilling workshops, we have anything that somebody, you know, pays you and then they get an experience in return. That's what it means to have purchasable experience. Um, it changes a little bit when we start working with like some retail people, uh, some of our retail members too. How does it move from being retail to being an experience? Uh, one of our members like Moonstone Creations does this really well that they have their retail store, but then you can also do their beading workshops. You can also do, they just set up a teepee in the back and now they're doing storytelling, you know, just kind of further, further puts people um, in, into uh more more of a rounded experience as opposed to like a place to stop if that makes sense so this program the ita six senses program uh this program in itself costs about uh twenty five thousand per participant that is not a cost that you guys take at all uh that is completely free if you guys are successful in uh in acquiring and attending this program. The program itself has a couple different stages, which I'm gonna walk, walk you through. And uh, it's about six months of commitment. Um, however, at the end of the outcome, there's a lot of different outcomes, not just the certificate of recognition, but you go from having like, again, that idea 
all the way to having an experience that is ready for you to take it to the market, which means that you'll have your pricing done, you'll have the materials you need, you will have piloted it with uh, like twice actually with different with different um, professionals within the field. And so it is ready for you to go take and start to sell within six months, which is pretty fantastic. So So in this program, Indigenous entrepreneurs of Alberta embark on an exciting and inspiring journey alongside ITA to, to elevate their existing experiences and to create new ones. So what they're going to build together is unique. This program offers an empty canvas for participants to paint their own picture and express ideas to unlock their unlimited potential through ITA's continuous support. All right, so I know I had mentioned that the program happens in stages. The program actually happens in three different stages. The first stage is called the experiential journey. And you may have noticed, or you will notice when you go to apply, there are a couple dates in September that are very adamantly listed. And that's because that is what the experiential journey, when the experiential journey takes place. The experiential journey is a three-day, all paid for, all accessible um, experience to Métis Crossing, which is one of our premier Indigenous tourism destinations. For three days, you just get to participate in a bunch of our members' experiences to inspire you to think about what an experience could be. So that's the experiential journey. We take you three days, you have a ton of fun at Métis Crossing. You're going to be able to experience probably a culinary experience, a cultural experience, a lodging experience, you know, to really invigorate your senses of like, what could my experience be? So that's stage one. Um, those dates will happen in September. I'll tell you guys the exact dates once we're done, done this like kind of presentation, or I think I actually have them listed. So I think I actually go into it. Yeah, haha. Look at that. I was already prepared. Okay, so September 19th to the 21st are those dates that we're looking at. Um, those dates are pretty set in stone uh, just because we we are coordinating quite a few people to come. So um, we do ask, actually, it's a requirement that if you want to be in this program, like you do have to be able to make those particular dates. Uh, and of course, your travel accommodation, meals, and everything is covered for you to come and attend at Métis Crossing. We will be bringing in a couple different members. We really like at ITA, if you haven't noticed, we love cross membership communication and uh, like mentorship our members learn so much from one another uh, and we really believe in like building a community around us and uh, learning from each other so this will be a great a great time for other you know people who are really well on their way in their in their experiential journey to come and do an experience for you you can ask them questions about how they got there what they ended up doing, and then we'll go from there. So that's stage one. Then we move into stage two. And stage two is our mentoring journey. So during this, this is about three months online, uh, bi-weekly. So once every two weeks, you'll be assigned a mentor and uh, you'll be given a ton of resources in terms of like how to build an experience, how to price an experience, how to gather materials that you need for your experience, how to make sure that your experience is cost effective, that you're making revenue. And uh, this will all happen through your mentorship. So we have two amazing mentors this year that I'm super excited that we'll be working one-on-one -on -one with each participant. So our mentors include Tracy Kleddle from Painted Warriors, as well as Heather Black from Buffalo Stone Woman. So both of these members have been in the tourism business for quite a few years now and are working with travel trade, you know, international travelers who are coming from across seas to their experiences. So they come with a lot of breadth of knowledge uh, and the resources that we have for this program are 
absolutely fantastic. So as I had mentioned, you know, this is really when you get to be guided and mentored by our Indigenous tourism mentor. Uh, we're, we actually call them the Wichetowak, which mean like the people who help one another um, to begin building your experiences. This inclusive and holistic approach to mentoring will, including, will include planning, capacity building, and troubleshooting any roadblocks before you bring your idea to a tangible reality. So this is the three months that you really get to, okay, we got some inspiration from stage one. I know what I want to do for an experience. Now let's start building that experience. So this is stage two. And then that will bring us to stage three. So stage three is called our piloting journey. So this is when you actually get to test out your experience twice. Uh, one, you'll do it with uh, you know some friends and family. And then two, ITA, as well as your mentor, as well as we'll probably bring some people from Travel Alberta and your local destination marketing organizations to come and pilot, which means we're doing a run to test out the kinks, to gather feedback, to make your experiences even better. It's like the test run that we get to do. And so uh, you'll gather feedback, troubleshooting, implementing new ideas and adapting the experience as needed. This will end up happening in kind of like February. Um, we do acknowledge that, you know, if you have a summer experience, obviously February is not the best time to pilot it. Uh, just knowing though, like our, our funding typically works from like May to March. And so it's a little bit of a tricky, tricky time to always find the perfect time, but, uh, whether your experience is a summer experience, we can always see about moving it inside or uh, adapting as well. So this part of the piloting journey, it says that the commitment's about three months. It's because by the time your mentoring journey ends, it's kind of like December, January. And then you start preparing for the pilots, which will all be held kind of like February, early March. And so again, this will be include a dry run with friends and family, and then a final pilot to gather feedback with some industry professionals as well. And this, we actually come to your site. Uh, or if you're doing like a mobile experience, we'll find we'll find a site that's uh that's most appropriate for your experience. All right. So that's a little bit about the program itself. And now I wanted to chat a little bit about like the eligibility and the application form. So in order to be eligible for this, uh, it does, we do require that you are market ready. Um, if you're at the beginning stages of being market ready or the latter stages of being visitor ready, that's fine. Um, really, you just have to have the ability to commit to the duration of the program. Again, it's about you know, the three days and then during the mentorship, it's about one hour biweekly, plus like the homework that you might have in, in building your experience. Uh, and really that commitment, right? Like we have members who have joined programs before who were like just in bit like in development, who are like, I just have an idea who are like market ready now, just in one year. It really depends on the commitment that you're able to have with your experience and building your business. You can be from all over. We pay for your travel and accommodation from all over as well. So don't worry if you're like in a particular area of, of, uh, of Alberta. So the application, everybody should have been sent the application um, through our membership newsletter, but I'm just going to show you guys, if you guys at any point in time end up losing it, if you go to our website, let's say I'm, you know, heading over to our website, ITA website, I can Google, I guess not Google, but search six senses, it'll come up right here. This also should have been sent in the most recent newsletter. Here it is here, where you can kind of see. So the way that the application works is uh, you just have to click and download the application form first, fill it out, 
and then uh, you click here to submit it online. Our application close is coming up soon, July 28th, and then we will have decisions made by August 18th because the key dates uh, for the experiential journey come pretty quickly after that. Uh, we tried to make it so that it would happen after a lot of kiddos go back to school uh, because I know that September can be a pretty crazy month for uh, some of our some of our uh, members who have kids. So that is the deadline. Uh, this year, we are going to be taking six participants. So it is a smaller number. Um, the reason why we're only taking six, one, because this is the first year of implementation of this program. And so we don't want to bite off like too much that we can't chew. Two, it's really important for us that our mentors have a small number of mentees so that they get the most out of, so that the men mentees get the most out of their experience as well. We really want this to be, you know, small and intimate, really hands-on, really guiding you through experiential development so that you're getting the most out of this program. The way that participants will really be selected is one, of course, based off of your application. You don't have to do a written application. You can do an oral application. So if you end up, you know, just bringing up the questions on one monitor and doing a video recording of you answering those questions, that's totally fine. You can submit that. You can also do like a PowerPoint too. So it doesn't just have to be a written application form. We want to make it accessible to, to everybody. You can, but just make sure that you're answering the questions if you do a video or some kind of like other creative way of, uh, of submitting an application. Really what we're looking for is if you don't quite yet have an idea of an experience, that's okay. We're just looking for, of course, that commitment. Um, if you've had some business growth within the last couple of years, that's fantastic. Um, you know, uh, some of the other things is that if you're ready, if you're really ready for the program as well, because this program is really geared towards some of our market ready experiences, we want within the next year that like you can go and and sell this experience. And so if you have the if your business is in a place where you can do that, that'll just really help you with your with uh, your application as well. I love this question. What do you do if you're not selected? If you're not selected, it's okay. Don't get upset. Um, this program will be a year over year kind of program. And we have a lot of other programs that are going on. Let's say you weren't selected because your business just isn't quite ready. We do have quite a few other programs that will be coming out September, October, and November. Um, so we have a program that's called Strengthening Our Roots that's going to come out. It's all to do with developing your business infrastructure. So like your operations, your licenses, your financials, all of those things. So we have that program that's going to be coming out. We also have our uh, Kesso our, I guess it's Catalyst now, our Catalyst Mentorship too, that's going to be coming out again this year. Um, and so that's another really awesome mentorship opportunity that is a bit more broad-based than just experience development like this one. And then we also provide our one-on-one -on -one business coaching and help as well from our team here too. So if you're not selected, don't worry. There's lots of other ways that we can still continue to assist you and continue to still help you out at ITA. Um, so once participants have been selected, you get a welcome package. There will be an online meet and greet uh, at least two weeks prior to the three-day experiential journey that will happen at the end of September. But you'll get this whole little nice, nicely wrapped up package uh, with all of your resources, all of your coaching material, all of the everything. Oh, wow. I'm at questions already. Okay. So yeah, that's a little bit, I know that I talked at you guys for quite a while here. Um, so that's a little bit about what the program is, um, the application and how to complete that. And so what I'll do is I'll stop sharing my screen.
I hope you guys all enjoyed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll come on back because I'd love to see if there were any questions that anybody might have. Can I make a comment? Absolutely. So just to make sure that everybody's filling out the right application. So the original application, one of the questions has changed. We had a couple of applications come in and realized that we needed to ask a little bit more specific. So just make sure you have the updated application, which is the one that Mackenzie showed you on the website, just so no one fills it out and we have to send it back. I did realize I had one one more screen um if you need help with your application uh our ita team is here to help you with the application the only thing that we ask is that we do have a deadline uh the deadline for applications in general is july 28th but if you want feedback on your application um please have that to us by July 24th, because then that just ensures for my team that they have like four days to take a look at your application, to provide any feedback and to get it back to you so that then you have time to make those changes and apply it. So we are here to help you to write your application and try to write the best application that you can. Um, yeah, so just reach out to our team as well at membership at indigenoustourismalberta.ca for that. I think I have. Oh, I just had I just had a nice message from from Dion. Ooh, he Dion. Yes, Dusty. Hey Mac, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Good, good. Um, I did have a couple questions. Absolutely. Uh, the first is um, about like that market ready status. So if if you are, because I think I'm still like in development status. Um, but like the idea that I have will definitely put me in market ready. Totally. So is it worth applying still if, if that's the case? I would say 100%. Um, yeah, as I had mentioned like we straight up, like we had a member last year who came to us who wanted to do our like Kesso mentorship, for example, and he was in development. And by the end of his mentorship, he was full on market ready. Um, so don't let where you're at right now deter you of where you will be or where you could be based on this program. Uh, so okay. I would say 100%, it would still be worth it to apply. Okay, cool. And then the other question that I had is like, if you are successful, um, are the costs covered for building that experiences? Like if there is purchases needed or things that go towards that experience? Like how that, does that- That is a really good question, Dusty. So unfortunately we are not able to cover certain costs towards the experience, except for the program itself and the mentorship and, and all of the things that come within the program. However, um, the nice thing is that this pairs really nicely with our ITA grants that we're hoping to come, that will come out. Uh, and then as well as the Travel Alberta co-op funding too. So this, going through this program will actually help to increase your success even for getting further grants uh, because you'll have so much built out. You'll have your pricing structure. You'll have your costs uh, already assessed for that. So it will make it easier for you to get certain grants to get that, to get that like, you know, whether it's like infrastructure or supplies and materials, but that those costs aren't covered through this program. Okay, cool. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Um, the, I might be looking at the um, old application, but the one that was on the email. Um, so in under goals and objectives, it says within the next year, I hope to, and it has all these things well, what if you already have all those things? Oh, perfect. Just state that. You're all you're good to go. Okay. And then the next question is, what is your business plan for the next 12 months? Are you talking just about the plan of our experience idea or the entire organization? Preferably the entire organization, just because it gives us kind of like an overview of like where you're at right now and what kind of like, business um, infrastructure you have currently in place. 
Okay, so, and the very, almost one of the first questions on the application says, describe the experience product idea you'd like to create. Um, but it looks like when you're on this program, you're being shown how to create ideas and, cre and create an idea during the program. So is that why it's only 250 words? That that's exactly, want? that's exactly why. <laughs> we know that some people will look at the application and be like, well, I'm gonna like figure that out during the program. Uh, but we also know that some people might come in and say, hey, I have a snowshoeing experience and I really wanna like actually, like I wanna enhance it. I wanna make it into something. So no matter where you're at in terms of like an idea for an experience, that's why it's like, yeah, it's only like 250 words. It's pretty minimal just because if you have like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to figure that out while we're there. But I know that my experience, I want to have like an outdoor experience. That's fine. That's totally fine. What I, I see happening is that um, if I were in this program, the experience I'm, I'm suggesting that I'm trying to create will include the new ideas that you're also trying to teach. So, um, but I'm not going to deviate from the overall idea I have because okay. I think it's pretty unique. So I'm going to stick with that, but whatever I'm taught will add to it. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, this, it's actually something I've been thinking about for a long time, but here's the other thing. It includes partnerships with the entire town. And the Fantastic. only way this is gonna make a lot of money, the only way it's gonna make a lot of money is through some politics. Ah, so it always. involves the politics of the town. Um, so anyways, I still think, you know, we would learn an amazing amount and be able to make a million new ideas, but I'm, I'm going to stick with this one because we're trying to generate an, an additional revenue stream to, because we're a museum. So, you know, we can't rely just on the people coming in the door. There's only a finite number of people they're going to let into Banff and it's becoming lower and lower. So um, there's a new revenue stream I'd like to, to work on. And this actually is quite a perfect fit for the whole thing, I think, anyway. So, and oh, and my other question, sorry, one more question. So um, if, if you're selected, does only one person come to the Métis Crossing or can we- Great question, great question, Angelica. Uh, yes, yes, we're able to, we're able to cover one to come. Um, if you like have a family, for example, and you're like, yo, I can't send no. somebody like just for the Not day, family, no, we'll, but, we'll chat about that. But uh, a very uh, valuable Indigenous supporter who would probably help me understand better a lot what's happening. And, you know, we could pay for that person, if, but would that be allowed? Absolutely. We can figure, yeah, we can totally figure something out. About, I mean, we could pay for the accommodation that for those three days, I'm not talking about the rest of the program, just for that, that period yeah. where you're on site. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure, I'm see. sure we could figure something out okay. for that. Okay. Well, oh, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, the other questions uh, I'll ask Renee. <laughs> No worries. <laughs> um, she, she offered to, as you said, by the 24th, uh, just check the application. So we'll see. Amazing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Shaylon. And say everybody, hi. Um, this is kind of just an encouragement for our artisans as well who will be applying for this. Dusty, you really uh you really reminded me when you were speaking there, um, any work that you really put uh, towards this, even this application and in this program in general, um, ITA, myself and Crystal, our deadly development team, we're working really hard to find even more opportunities for our artisans. Um, so right now we're currently working really closely with um, the Alberta Arts uh, Foundation. 
And so I'm going to be doing my best to really open doors for our artisans in the next, this, just this summer, you know, as September is coming. Um, so I know Dusty, I think we're going to be meeting next week and we can talk further on this, but there's uh, quite a few opportunities that are going to be coming up for our artisans in this next couple of months. And uh, I'm going to kind of gather a small group of who I know are working really hard and who have projects that are coming up. And so even like, say you get selected, say, say whichever happens, um, all the things that you're going to be putting towards this current experience that you have, there, there most definitely is going to be funding um, that you can apply for that we're doing our best to really open doors for you in that, in that area. Thank you so much for that, Shay. Amazing. I wanted to see if there might be any other questions from anybody. I will take the silence as no, which is great. Um. Fantastic. Well, yeah, that brings us to the end of our little informational webinar. Um, this will, as you know, it was recorded. And so we're going to uh, upload it onto our website as well so that it will be on the Six Senses webpage so that if you ever like for, forget a question that you had asked, then you can refer back to it. Um, but of course, don't hesitate to reach out to our team. The best email membership at indigenoustourismalberta.ca. That will then get filtered to our team members so that then we can uh, reach out to you and try to assist you in whatever ways we can. But I think with that, I'll say Oxymaga to everybody. It was good to see you all. I hope you have a really beautiful rest of your day. And I hope you apply for the program because it's going to be really awesome. So thank you so much, everybody. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. See you guys. Bye.